I, I, oh, it was true, see? It was, it was true. Gumshoe. <laughs> Wait, are you being serious? You aren't actually, are you? The defense, would, <laughs> the defense would like to formally accuse Detective Mark Waters for the murder of Michael Ravales. This is a very serious move you're making, Mr. Red. You've done it every other fucking game. I don't yeah. know why I'm surprised in telling you this. I trust that you have evidence to back up your claim. I do. Detective Waters' fingerprints were on the gun, as well as those of the victim. That is certainly suspicious. Hey, lift, please send for the detective. I, I want him to testify for us. You'd better know what you're doing, rat. I never do. <laughs> Pull shit out of my ass all the time. <laughs> Every single case I've been in has been one huge ass pull. <laughs> hoarder, hoarder. Please state your name and occupation. He is so sad to be trying his friend. <laughs> Name's Mark Waters. I'm a detective. Hey, boss. Shouldn't I be, uh, investigating the crime scene? I don't really have anything new to report yet. I'm afraid that will have to wait. Uh-huh. What do you mean? Doesn't he realize it yet? <laughs> hey, uh, why is everyone looking at me so weird? It's creeping me out. Detective Mark Waters, you have been accused of the murder of Michael Rivales. Do you have anything to say for yourself? <laughs> I'm gonna turn into Shadow. <laughs> what the hell, man? Detective, please do not say hell in my courtroom. It's like, you've heard, yeah, you had to have heard much worse. <laughs> Screw that! I'm being accused of killing a dude and you think I'm just gonna sit back and take it? Do you even got a, any grounds for this? Rod believes that he does. Well, screw you, right? I don't, I can't believe you backstab me like this. You seem like a nice guy, Waters, but I can't ignore your crimes. Come on, man. You don't really think that I did it. If I didn't, you wouldn't be here right now. <laughs> That's a new picture. Uh, it's kind of off. Yeah, oh, it Lord. looks like his face isn't centered. Well, then. I'd like to see you prove anything. Challenge accepted. <laughs> what? You want me to prove it? I will. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see, man. We'll see. He looks like he's from a different game. His <laughs> sprite and Phoenix's sprite just looks so much different. No, it's fine. Look at him. He's perfect. Look, look at his mouth. <laughs> look at his eye. It's coming off of his face. I didn't kill anyone. You hear me? I'll show you you're full of it. I'll show everybody here. At least you didn't say shit in my courtroom. No way, man! <laughs> Virgil? I can hear your voice all the way from in here. Dude. Just because it was... <laughs> He's probably in the rafters, bro! <laughs> Just because there was a blackout doesn't mean I went there. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> uh -huh. I mean, that tower is over 30 stories tall, and the elevators would, be, would have been out. No way am I going to run up and down something like that. Plus, I don't exactly want to get involved. On my end, it sounded like you said, I don't exactly want to get involved. But... <laughs> this is a very serious accusation you're making here. I hope you can back up what you're saying. You hear that, man? Boss has got my back. I don't care who has your back here. You can't escape from what you've done. I didn't do anything, though. Ugh. 
I'm uh, pouring gravel into my throat as we speak. <laughs> I mean, you, you almost went full <laughs> Yosuke there. <laughs> if you weren't there, then where were you? What? <laughs> <laughs> hey, that doesn't matter. I think it does. <laughs> if you can't prove where you were, then you don't have an alibi. Let this game and say it doesn't matter where I was. <laughs> oh, I was at home, okay? You know, like any normal person would be. I was at home isn't an alibi. I want proof. Proof that he was there when the murder took place. Until you give me that, it doesn't matter where he says he. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Do not interrupt me. <laughs> I swear to my lord. <laughs> Why do you say that? No power, no elevators, right? That's my name. Duh. You're the one who brought that up. My name? Right. <laughs> Stop saying your name. <laughs> <laughs> the only other way would be the stairs. Even I'm not crazy enough to try that. I mean, the roof. We've the already roof established that. The roof doesn't exist. What are you talking about? Hurdy flights of stairs would tire you out rather quickly. It would do me. You're 147. <laughs> I'm just 47, damn it. Yeah, no kidding. I mean, come on. Okay. <laughs> Whoever said anything about running, you could have walked. <laughs> You're kind of missing the point. Yeah, I'm not going bit. to waste my. T I'm not going to waste my time going up and down those stairs. It would be bad enough going up, but then I'd have to go all the way back down again. The blackout was the work. only opportunity to safely infiltrate the building. Taking the stairs was a necessary sacrifice. That would, of course, require him to have known about the power outage beforehand. Well, maybe he caused, he caused it. it. Come on, dude! I do not suppose that you have evidence showing that the power failure was planned. I mean, I have this string. <laughs> this bundle of fun. Uh, it's probably electrical wires or something. I would assume. N no, I don't. <laughs> yeah. Ha! Huh. Shut up! Don't get cocky, Waters. This is just round one. Since I don't know what was going to happen, didn't know it was going to happen, <laughs> that means if I did show up there, I would have planned to use the elevator instead. I would have needed a really important reason to still go up there after seeing that it was out. So if you did have a good reason, you would do it? <laughs> well, yeah, I guess. Maybe you should change your testimony to reflect that, then. I ain't gotta change shit. Okay. I mean, I assume... It wants me uh... to do this. I mean, that's his reason for killing, but is that his reason for going up and down? I don't think it would be. Murder isn't a good enough reason for you? <laughs> what? Everybody wants to do the murdering. Hey, I didn't murder anyone. Yes, you did. Stop badgering him. I know he did it, but I'm gonna defend him. Well, you've done nothing to prove anything yet. Objection. It's a stain. This isn't getting me anywhere. I'll need to actually show them my proof if I want to make progress. Let's just Don't finish exactly this off. Get the mob. Who, in, who mentioned anything about getting involved with the mob? Well, uh, isn't that the only reason anybody would show up there? Especially at that time of day. Because I can't really think of any other reasons myself. Don't know why I brought it up in the first place. I mean... Mm. You don't want to get messed up with those guys. They'll ruin you. 
There really isn't any arguing with that. There isn't really any arguing with that. Uh, do you see anything wrong with his testimony, Nick? He's claiming that he didn't have any reason to go there, which I know is wrong. I think I finally found out what a certain piece of evidence means. What? Well, then show it. You know what to do. In court record. 60 flight. That's a lot of flights. I mean, we this got is papers my assumption. all over nope. the place. So I don't know what it is. This proves the witness is lying. Actually, no. However, it does prove you're fucking incompetent. I think God he's trying to say you're incompetent. Okay, so... What do we have? That was my guess. Uh, do we have... Well, we... He has a reason, obviously. Oh, well. There you go. Not necessarily. We have the other one that's... Right. It's the Magatama. <laughs> that's for Rick. It's for Dick. Well, let's just try it. Yeah. What if you did have a good reason? What if there was a reason that you couldn't refuse? What do you mean? Like what? What if you were being blackmailed? I don't even know the word. Yeah, no, like you think whoa. it's blackwa. Whoa. I found this note yesterday. I'm sure you were the target. Do you have any proof of that? <laughs> Despicable. You stroll in here with a note I've never seen. You fabricated that. Are we to take your word for it, it that it is genuine? What? Are you yes. drunk? I took maybe a little sip. Can the defense provide any proof as to the veracity of this letter? I'll let the court decide that, Your Honor. No, I can't. No? I'd like to request the forensics team have this letter tested. Anybody who's held the note will have known about it. And whoever's prints are on it must have discarded it in the warehouse. Not another word. I don't care whose prints are on that paper, it doesn't prove your story in the least. Mr. Williamson, I'm tired of doing this. He is giving it over to the police. We will thoroughly test it and make sure it is a genuine artifact. I don't trust it, Your Honor. That man has a history with fraudulent evidence. We cannot let him present it. He never even revealed it until just now. And you never let me investigate the pissing crime scene! That, because, that is because I do not trust you. Also, evidence law. Until it's freaking necessary, you shouldn't present it because you don't know how it's related to the case. I kind of might have forgot about that law. Why are you part judge there for a minute? <laughs> like I said, he's getting up there in age. Mr. Wright, it was, uh, was cleared of those charges, Mr. Williamson. I mean, not really. He did do it. <laughs> he didn't forge it, but he did present it. I know him well. <laughs> okay. And do not believe he is capable of such an act. Now please, be calm and let the police do their work. I mean, shut your fucking mouth, Obadiah. Thought you would shut me down like that? Nice try. <laughs> I got the judge on my side now. <laughs> The results are in. After a thorough scan of the note, the police were able to discover prints. One set belonging to Mr. Wright and the victim, belonging to the victim and the other. The witness. <laughs> no! That was a weak breakdown. This proves he received the note from Ravalas. Ravalas made Mark Waters come meet him for some reason. <laughs> that was a quick objection on my side. <laughs> it certainly does not. 
What might I ask? Was he supposedly being blackmailed over? It would have to be something serious. Hey, I've got nothing to hide, man. I've come this far, but I still know so little. I still don't have any idea what this big secret the note talked about was. I... I don't know. <laughs> you hear that, boss? He doesn't know. <laughs> the existence of a blackmail letter does not po doesn't point to the witness at all. Are you kidding me? Are you are it you stupid? Not. Do not try to call me stupid. Maybe I'm not. Sure. But I can prove he responded to it. <laughs> don't look so sad. <laughs> Detective, perhaps you'd like present that evidence. <laughs> perhaps you'd like to talk to us about the blackmail note. I, uh, I don't know. I, uh, uh, whether or not it was directed at you is a serious matter, and certainly a solid motive for murder. This court requests further testimony. I expect you to give it. Fine. <laughs> Just one moment. Happy go lucky. I don't know, man. Fine. No way, man. Part Virgil, shit. get out of here. <laughs> yeah, I got a sketchy note. Why would I go there at six in the morning for a blackmail letter that had no meaning to me? Yeah, you know, I really can't tell you why Rivalis even sent send me something like that. Since I didn't know, I didn't show up. It's simple. <laughs> it's not very simple, is it? I mean, let's just tear him down. There, you happy? Not yet. Huh? Why? What's it gonna take to convince you that I didn't kill anyone? You can't convince me of something I know isn't true. Perhaps instead of trying to convince her, you should con convince me! Oh. You should focus on convincing the rest of this court. I'm completely lost at this point. <laughs> Needless banter before a needless testimony. Your cross-examination, rat. I don't need your approval, Dad. <laughs> yes, you do, sir. Now go out and we'll play ball. The letter has your prints and Rivala's. You got it from him. <laughs> yeah, but that doesn't mean... You keep cutting out. Yeah, but that doesn't mean I ever made anything of it. I just saw a bunch of vague threats. Why does your internet suck? I don't know. It's also, a his neck is not connected to his neck at all. <laughs> his neck isn't connected to his neck? No, it's detached from his own neck. It's a blackmail note to you from the victim. Let's not try and make excuses here. Oh god. The witnesses and prosecution's argument is that Mr. Waters never responded. Also, I've played both times we were in court, so I don't think you've ever heard his objection. No, I don't think I have. <laughs> Better be really high-pitched. Look at the letter again, and you will see no specifics are stated. It is therefore completely reasonable to assume he did not know who it came from. He got it from him! What the what? <laughs> I guess that's true too. Next time, try giving some solid evidence before you make an accusation. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> How dare you! Maybe That's you found cool. it and wanted to investigate. Investigate what? Come to my place isn't exactly a great description to where to meet. Of where to meet. Heck, the entire notes be vague. Also, why are you saying heck now? 
I decided to tone it down for the kids real quick. The target is never to identified. I, did, I decided to do the judge a solid and not say hell <laughs> in his courtroom anymore. <laughs> it's been pretty nice to me. You have no way of proving that it was aimed at me. Only somebody who knew about the note's contents would understand what it meant. Waters has to realize this. I don't realize anything. Hold it! Hold it! <laughs> Take the, Hold up now. The freaking Ace Attorney versus uh, Professor Layton Edgeworth hold. Hold it! Just like that <laughs> British ass hold it. You got this from him, and now you're heading the investigation for his murder? Hey, hey, hey! Don't try pulling that card. Just a detective, man. It's got nothing to do with it. You've been very laid back and carefree this investigation. A bit more so than I'd hope from a police detective. If I may, the detective has always been somewhat... Lackluster in his duties. So I see you have a gumshoe as well. <laughs> I do not dock his pay nearly as enough as I should. Yeah, I mean... His type of behavior... If you did that, he'd probably do his job. <laughs> his type of behavior is typical for him. Yeah, that's right. Uh, uh, hey! His laziness and ineptitude shouldn't be confused for corruption. So why is mine? Because you are Phoenix Wright, and I need a motivation to hate you. Come on, boss. I can't tell whether he's trying to defend him or not. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mai. Didn't show up, huh? That's right. If I didn't understand the note, I wouldn't have any reason to go to the tower. That punches a big, huge hole right through your little theory, doesn't it? Using that logic, if you did understand it, then you would have had a reason to go. Yeah, well, but I didn't, so ha. Huh? That's not a very compelling argument you're giving. Hey, it's real simple, man. Either I did or I didn't. And you haven't proven that I did. It isn't simple. These things never are. Nick, did you really mean what you said? That you can prove he responded to the blackmail letter? Yes, it's almost too easy. He didn't do a very good job of covering his tracks. Well, if you say so... Everything's pointing to this so man. I just need to hit him so hard he can't recover. Don't sound too, uh... Too confident there, Maya. What proves he did respond to it? I haven't been paying attention. Did I miss something? I don't think so. I think it's in the face at some point. It's... it's stared at us in the face at some point. But the gun. The gun has his... Uh, yeah, I know, but where? how would I present that? I didn't show up. It's simple. Yeah. Boom. You did show up at the smart. tower, dumbass! This gun proves it. Your fingerprints are all over it. <laughs> Don't call me a dumbass. My fingerprints are on it. What is so funny, Mr. Waters? That gun belongs to me. Of course my fingerprints are on it. And you know what else? I wasn't. It wasn't even at the crime scene. For all you know, it might have just gotten run over by a car or something. Fingerprints aren't the only ones on it. The victims are, too. Tell me, Detective, just how many times have you been in a situation where Michael Ravales, leader of the city's underworld, has had a chance to hold your gun? Listen, we go to shooting practice every Sunday. 
There's only one way that could have happened, and that's if you met with him. Admit it, Waters, you met with Revales. I'm not sure how or why it happened, but at some point he touched that revolver. Dude, Dude. <laughs> it's about a gun. <laughs> Revales was killed with a blade, remember? Yes, I recall that. But we're dealing with a crime where supposedly no one else was at the screen. Screen scene. <laughs> if Revales held your gun, then we know you were there too. Plus, somebody fired it. There's a clear intent to kill. What do you have to say to that? Did Revales even... Was Revales found with a gunshot? I don't think so. Hmm. Probably missed. We didn't find any... Bullets in there. Huh. Fine. I went there. I, I was mean, in the penthouse. Freaking, the knife was there even though it didn't cut him. He probably did some cleanup. Probably got rid of the shell and maybe shot out the window. Maybe. Which is kind of dangerous. <laughs> Look at him. Whoa! <laughs> Waters. Hey, I never said it was the day he died. I was there the night before. Maybe I just forgot my gun there. Yeah, okay. Just forget a gun. <laughs> Besides, it's not like he can prove I'm the one who shot it. Old Mikey's prints are on there just the same. Nick, didn't you say that the fingerprints were from the past few days? Yes, I did. So that means there's no real way to prove that he was there when the murder happened. No, there still is. We just have to use something else. I think this gun's usefulness is worn off. Worn off? <laughs> the defense can worn still off. prove that Waters was there at the time of the murder. And in fact, he told somebody he would be there. This piece of evidence will reveal everything. Well, I assume... I'd like the court to look at this letter. Would you care to read it for you, for us, Mr. Williamson? Well, I'm holding it, Judge! Why? <laughs> Obadiah has to... He has to go all the way to the other side of the room, take it from his hands. I imagine it would be, like, really forcefully, Give me the thing! <laughs> it reads, Rick, I need your help. It's important. Please meet me tomorrow at 5.20 a.m. Don't tell anyone you'll come. It isn't signed. Since it's not signed, that means can't prove anything. Maybe I can't, but there's someone out there who can, and he's concussed oh, no. and doesn't have any memory. <laughs> Who's that? Rick. Rick? From Rick and Morty? Ah! <laughs> Shut up. A person named Rick met with the author of this note. He can tell us everything. Who is Rick? I don't know any Rick. Actually, Your Honor. <laughs> everyone here has met Rick before. He's none other than Detective Dick Gumshoe. <laughs> no, no. You want us to have Detective Gumshoe testify. Yeah, because that's gone so well in the past. <laughs> Especially for the prosecution. If Gumshoe is the Rick in question, then all of our questions can be answered. If not, then you have nothing to worry about. Hmm. <laughs> what? <laughs> you should be happy about that. <laughs> Mr. Williamson. Should I call the suicide prevention hotline? <laughs> I mean, Jesus Christ, he looks so sad. <laughs> I'll get you a sandwich. A sandwich always perks me up. Yes, yes, I'll allow him to testify. Well, a sandwich would be the English translation. What would the Japanese equivalent be? Because, I mean, Maya's burgers are miso a ramen. <laughs> you said a donut. <laughs> Waters is starting to look nervous. I think he's finally realizing how bad things are for him. Gumshoe is still has amnesia. 
one might I'd say he's in hot water. Shut up. <laughs> I hate you.